welcome back to episode 25. So apparently I actually hit that... I hit Gratilda, so now she's in that bubble shield. Yeah, I did that on purpose. Now, as I was saying in the last video, it takes a creative mind to actually create all those horror movies, but does that actually make them insane? Or does that make them potential murderers at, that, at some point? No, it does not. It just means that they have... They have some creative thought, they have some creative things going on in their head, and then, yeah, they had the money to produce it, direct it, putting it all up to, into place. So, not really much else to be said there. We're just waking up all the Jinjos. So we wake up the green Jinjo first. It's kind of like random, honestly. I have no idea whether or not if it has a different cutscene every time. Then there's orange Jinjo. And, yeah. There's my favorite there's my favorite Jinjo, the yellow Jinjo. And we wake up the last one, or actually the fourth one, as it's a purple Jinjo. So, it goes easy street from there. But if you never actually had that health, what you call it, the honeycomb fully health, I probably would have died. This was more of the frustrating parts. So, yeah, Gratilda is trying to still, she's trying to kill me. I keep dodging all her fireballs. Oh my gosh. Come on, shield, shield, shield. Aww, no shield. So, oh, I am the mighty Ginginator. Activate me. I really think you ought to run. I, when I beat him, you'll spoil your fun. So, yeah, just shooting eggs. Shooting more eggs. And, oh my gosh. Okay, first one is done. Alright, gotta fly, gotta fly, hurry up, shoot the other one, hurry up, oh gosh, I gotta hit but I don't care at this point, because I know it's gonna be over soon, and I close up that, I close up that one, and now I go up to this one, oh, I got hit again, pretty sure you could actually, I can actually dodge all those, except for that big green fire, fire thing, or whatever, that green spell, and then I go behind there for the last one, because I think that could have gone safe behind the statue, but apparently not, the fireballs actually go through the whole thing, and now, this is pretty much the end of the battle. Jinjo, 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 Jinjo. Oh, intimidation. But why is... Oh my gosh. She has a big mouth. So why in the world is the blue one the Jinjinator? I would assume the purple one would have been. But, yeah. A lot of magic into this. Bam. All the revenge from until the trapping on the world where they couldn't be free. And now they get the revenge. And they play a big helping part. And all those different colors are the attacks of all the other colored Jinjos. And I believe this is gonna be the last hit. Poor old Grunty said to fall upon this bell I'll now call. I never understood that. I would have I would have think or I would have thought. It had to do something with Banjo Tooie. I gotta play that game soon. Still contemplating whether or not to actually do a let's play on Banjo Tooie yet. But, bam! She calls a hole in the ground and she is. On top of that, a giant boulder. Struggle as you might! Struggle as more as you might. You ain't getting out of there anytime soon. Gasp, too heavy! Grunty's fate this should not be, so hurry, Klongo, rescue me. Well, it's kinda of funny how she said too heavy, and she had no I she had no rhyme right there. So apparently when they're in pain there's no rhyme. Oh look, the yellow Jinjo, he's waving to us. Probably that's why. Just like I said, the yellow Jinjo has a personality. And everyone's all relaxing now. One thing is, why the heck is there a human babe on the beach carrying big melons? And they, she, Microsoft actually added sway in her step. If you actually pay attention, you're not being perverts. That's just observation right there. Look, see a little bit of sway right there? Up, oh, up oh, there you are. If you want to go back to it, you can just re rewind it. It doesn't make you a pervert, it just makes you a better observator. That's what I like to call it. Sure, Banjo, you and Kazooie are heroes now. So we are finally done with this game. Did you hear that, Shorty? I am a hero. Hmm, yes, I suppose you are. Well done, Kazooie. 
So basically, this is the alternative ending. If you wouldn't, wouldn't actually get, get all the, the... What's it called? Well, first, we're gonna do some more credits. But apparently, as I understand it, if you didn't get all the... The notes, or all the jiggies, or everything, completion, or 100% completion, then... There was one part of the scene where you probably will not see because Mumble would say you have to get all of this and beat the game again ju just to see this part. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I just didn't want to be missing. I just I just wanted to get it done and over with. So there's all the cats. There's Quarry the Boulders. There's what's his face Gruntling the giant gorilla thingamajigger. And then there's Ticker the termite. Ah, uh, it still looks like spiders at one point. And then there's Big Butt. I, kind of, I find it funny how they put butt in this game for humorous effect. Then there's a Grumblin. I hate those things. You really don't really get to see them often. Then there's Leaky the Bucket. Appropriate name. And then we get Lock Up. Another appropriate name. A lot of them are pretty appropriate names. Like Little Lock Up. You know, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense. That one's more friendly. And then we have Yum Yum. Because it always tries to eat of all the items you'd fall in or you drop. Snippet, the little crab. And then the shrapnel, the the mind bomb. <laughs> so yeah, it's a lot of it. Snacker. I hate you, Snacker. I'm so glad I killed you like ten times. And then there's Bloop. For some odd reason, likes to hang down there. And then we have Grill Chompa. I hate those things. These are so annoying. And then we have Mutie Snippet. I thought you'd call them Mutant Snippets. Oh my gosh, you guys changed your name. We, we got Whiplash. Pretty appropriate. And we get the Croctus. The hungry alligators that love to eat eggs. And we got a Flibbit, which is like a ribbit, but it's just a Flibbit. And we get, what's this, a Buzz Bomb? Not appropriate, because you always try to dive bomb us. And we get the little tip top Choir. I really hate you guys, but that's why I love to beat you up. And then there's Grogi. I don't know why they call you Grogi. You're happy, not Grogi. Or is it Grogi? Sogi. Or Soggy. I just say Sogi because there's Bogi. And then there's Mogi. Mogi, Sogi, whatever, Grogi. Not really appropriate names. Ah, the Twinklies! Ah, you guys are fun. Ah, the Twinkly Munchers. I love to kill you guys. Why do the Twinklies have to die? And then there's Sir Slush, the evil snowman. And then there's Clink. Oh, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that. Oh, no, just no. There's Jinxie. I ain't gonna say the last name. The ancient ones. I. Oh my gosh, this is gonna. No. Rewind if you actually want, if you haven't paid attention to the name. So there's Grabba because yeah, Scabby. I was not gonna say that name. Can't believe they actually put that there. Slapa. I. I don't think they meant it to be racist. Oh, there's my mom. I get it now. Alright. Hissed up. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm terrible. Uh, I can't... I'm so glad I didn't read the name. Portrait Trompo. Yeah, guys, rewind it and look at the name. I really hope that it wasn't what I thought it was. If it was, then I'm so glad I didn't read the name. But if it wasn't, then... I just misread it. I'm not going back. <laughs> Alright. There's Ripper, the tombstone. And then there's Nibbly, the bat that looks like a dog. Then there's Boombox. Boom, the boom, the boom, boom, box. And then there's Boss Boombox. 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 Alright. And then there's Grimlet. I hate those things. Those things scare me. Not as much as. Those float stamps. Float, no, float stamps don't even scare me at all, but the gremlins are really scare me. And then there's a semen gremlin. <laughs> I'm so terrible. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so terrible. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, snare bears, that's what they're called, but oh my gosh, I'm so terrible. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hate being 19 and over shade of mind, perverted if you want to call it. Uh. Grumbling hood. That was what they're called. That, aw, I'm so whip crack. 
Oh my gosh, I'm terrible. I'm sorry. It's just some people may not even get it. And then they replay the scene where the beach babe is walking on the beach again with their swaying melons, if you want to call it that. And look, there's Mumbo. They're holding some pictures. Hey, Mumbo got secret pictures. Nice one, Bone Brain. What's on them? Got pictures of things you missed. Secrets used in the next game. Even though we don't actually pay attention to them unless you actually have Microsoft. Did you hear that Kazooie were being in another game? Alright, let's see it, Skirt Boy. Did you get all 100 Jigsaw pieces? Yeah, that's the only way you actually get to see it. We well, sure did, Mr. Mumbo. Yeah, so show us your secrets, Masked Midget. Wow, Kazooie! Such language! Stitcher sure shows things you have missed. Secrets are for new game, Badger Kazooie, Nuts and Bolts. Now you see that Microsoft actually edited that. Because back then, it was supposed to be Banjo something. I know, it's supposed to be a different game. It was not supposed to be meant for ban uh, Nuts and Bolts. And Mumbo's jaw dropped in awe, even though it wasn't really that great of a game, so I've heard. Hey, I did. I better be in the two short stuff. Maybe I should do a Let's Play of. Nuts and bolts. How well that would go? Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts make Banjo look like a joke. Banjo Kazooie. Nope. Banjo Kazooie would be and always will be the best. I don't care whether that was just being stubborn. Find first secret and beach. Hey, Shorty, how did you make that rock rise up? Her, her. Mumbo not telling. Troll. Wow, a secret cavern. Bear and Bird must climb to the top. So, basically, we're gonna have to do something in order to actually activate these codes. But in the in this game, they said that the only way to find these codes is if you were to play Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. But back then, you were still able to activate this, and I, and Nuts and Bolts was never even heard of. So, you could tell that Microsoft is actually trying to market their game using Banjo Kazooie. It's kind of sad, but yet smart at the same time. But I'm not gonna judge. And it's kind of funny how we skip on the orange Jinjo. And look at there, the ice key. Remember that ice key? You're able to go through there. But in Banjo Tui, you're able to actually use the ice key because you were able to actually pick it up and you were over were able to open up something and get something cool. And remember that door? The one with the four notes? Yeah, you could open that too. Those are the only three that they're going to show you in this game. And the only way to actually find out how to activate them or open them up is to play Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts and something around there you were able to actually do something. And then you have to go back to this game and activate it and get all those things. But that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you guys, well, Probably not, I should not spoil it. How do we get to these? Mumbo not telling. Find out in Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. See? Advertisement. So, this is what I'm going to tell you. This is not actually the last episode. Well, technically it is for the game, but I'm still continuing on with at least probably four or five, maybe even six more episodes. I'm not too sure. I have to go see it. I'm going to have to play it out a bit. But, all is well. This is basically the end of this Let's Play. I'm so glad that I'm done with this game. And there's yeah, still other videos I need to do. But overall, I'm glad I'm done with this game. Thank you all for watching this. And thank you for the support. Thank you for the comments the feedback. I gladly read them. I, I like them. And hopefully, let's see what else I could do. If you guys have a next Let's Play I should do, feel free to comment below. But until then... Have a nice day, everybody. I'm Sorgies Around Zero, and I will see you in the next video.